There is no such thing as employing yourself and making your own money, be it tangible services you are involved in or intangible services. Now, how do we make sure we do this? Amidst the numerous opportunities we have around us, what are we supposed to be doing to ensure that we do not give our lives or we do not leave our lives in the hands of politicians and development partners who are supposed to be determining our future? Who are supposed to be determining what path we're supposed to be carrying, even if it's not a passion for some of us? Now, we're supposed to do what we call SWOT analysis. That's the strength, weakness, opportunities, and our threats. And what I mean by that is that when we do a personal SWOT analysis, we get to identify what the strengths are and which skill is going to be essential and sustainable to our development and growth as young people. Now, this must not be based on perception. Lately, when I go on Facebook or social media, everyone is a CEO and an entrepreneur. Do we understand what we are doing? When we come down to real life situations, is that what exactly we are involved in? What is your passion? What do you do to ensure that you have a development of yourself? What do you do to ensure that you have a sustainable income generating activity that will not support just you, but your immediate community as well? Politicians will make us promises at all times. Some are fulfilled, others are not fulfilled. But at all times, I want to believe it gives them an opportunity to understand further an effective entrepreneurial ecosystem of our systems indeed, that's supposed to develop or guide their policy initiatives. How do we take our time meticulously to help them to make us who we are supposed to be in future? Mariama sells no no by the mosque during Ramadan by virtue of the fact that she has thought outside of the box. Indeed, by the same virtue, she knows that when no no gets bad, it can be turned into wagashi. When wagashi is fried, indeed, it's usually eaten with pepper. There's going to be something, a beverage of a sort, to quench the taste of people who may be coming to patronize her products. What will she do? Immediately, she sets up a business on Sobolu. How many businesses does Marama have so far? So why do we sit back to wait for huge capitals? Why do we sit back to wait for government intervention? Why do we sit back to wait for government to absorb us into opportunities we may not even be interested in?